Welcome back to Upfront. Democrats say the governor's plan to pay back parents some of their tax money is really just a payoff, an election year ploy to buy votes. We're getting the Democratic perspective on Governor Walker's 2018 agenda from Senator Kathleen Weinhout of Alma, who is one of more than a dozen Democrats running for governor this year. Senator, it's good to have you back on the program. My pleasure. So you saw the, the governor's uh, state of the state address where he talked about a state that is historically strong, where things are pretty good right now. Do you agree with that? Uh, people are hurting. The, Three percent unemployment, he says. Ah, but wages are the 18th worst in the nation. People don't have money in their pockets. They're worried about health care. They're worried about whether or not their kids are going to have a better life than, than they did. We just saw uh, in a report that came out this week, farm bankruptcies in western Wisconsin are leading the nation. So there's a disconnect between what's happening in Wisconsin and the rosy picture that the governor gave in his state of the state address. He also talked about a number of uh, agenda items for him. He called it an ambitious agenda. A number of those are things I would think that Democrats, even you, could get behind and could support. Doesn't that make it tough for a Democratic candidate for governor to be out there campaigning against the governor when in fact he's doing some of the things you've called on him to do? Well, the governor is trying to remake himself. He's a bit like a leopard trying to scrub off his spots and paint some new ones. And I look at the, the proposals that he's, that he's done and I think he has been reading the polls and these are the concerns that the people have expressed, pre-existing conditions in health care. Teachers are his new best friend. People are worried about schools. People are worried that they don't have money in their pockets. When I think about that, I think, are people going to really believe that this same guy that, you know, decimated our public schools, especially our rural schools, is, is now teachers are his best friend? I don't know that people are going to be buying it. And then he's taking credit for things that he really doesn't have anything to do with, like you mentioned the unemployment rate being lower than the national yeah. average. Well, it's been lower than the national average in 28 out of 30 years. He talks about people being in the workforce. We've had lower than the national average workforce participation for 30 years. But when you look back at the statistics and the recovery of the economy, in, it took Wisconsin six years to recover, one year after the nation, two years after Minnesota. So taking credit for this stuff that he didn't have anything to do with, things like our pension yeah. system, our ACT scores, I don't know if people are buying that. A lot of people uh, were interested in what happened in northwestern Wisconsin in the 10th Senate District, uh, where Democrats won a, a seat that had been a Republican seat. You're from the, the western part of the state. Uh, what do the results of that, that Senate District race tell you about the possible results in November of 2018. People hate money in politics, and a huge amount of money was poured into that district by out-of-state groups. I heard from people that they were getting three, four, five nasty, slimy mailers in a day. And Patty has very deep roots in the district. People know her. She's been around, public figure for 20 years. They, her kid, their kids went to school together, and they knew that this slimy, out-of-state direct mail was not the gal that she knew, mm -hmm. that they were picking on, on their local gal, and that brought people out that were motivated to say no to big out-of-state money. People may hate money in politics, that's, that's your point of view on that, uh, but you need some money to run a campaign. The last financial report, you only had about $17,000 on hand. Um, can you successfully run a campaign, a statewide race, with so little money in your coffers? You know, 90% of people agree that we got to get money out of politics. The way to get money out of politics, at least in the short run, is to beat it. And that's what our campaign is all about. We're focused on organizing. We're focused on the power of the people. We need a little money to get the message out with those, all those volunteers. But when I think about what's happening, if we can show that the candidate without the big dollars can beat the, all these other candidates, what it shows us is that it's not politics as usual. And I'm running against some guys that say they accept the system and, and they're just going to play by the system. I'm running against some other guys that are saying they're complaining about the system. I'm out to beat the system. Senator Kathleen Weinhout, the Democrat from Alma, one of a, a number of Democratic candidates for governor this year. It's good to have you back on the program. My Thanks pleasure. very much. The three candidates for Wisconsin Supreme Court met in their first debate in Milwaukee, and at times it became 
a little heated. Our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com, has the story on their election blog at WISPolitics.com. Coming up next on Upfront, the race for Congress in the 6th Congressional District, north of Milwaukee. It's been Republican turf. Can Democrat Dan Cole unseat Republican incumbent Glenn Grothman?